Hello YouTube. So this little lens board that I constructed very fast, just made out of a bit of yeah this uh, MDF board, three millimeter board. Just cut it with a Stanley knife. That's it. After cutting with a Stanley knife, you just uh, draw with a pencil where you need to cut it a bit. Yeah, so the the jaws of the camera can hold it here and here and then you just inch away or not inch away take millimeter by millimeter take the excess away and and then it will just uh, fit uh, the the camera no problem so that's one thing the other thing is it's always nice to keep a lot of boxes don't throw them away they're very handy because this little box here candy box will help me to set the lens correctly just pop it in it's suspended as you can see and then you need to just try to make it level and you can't do it from side it's not problem uh, not possible so what you do is you get a little here a little measuring tool leveler and then you can just see but yeah bear in mind your table also needs to be level <laughs> so first check that yeah level enough and then you can start moving the lens until both bubbles are exactly between the lines uh, they're approximately uh, straight so that that will do it uh, the other thing now next step is take a glue gun and you can just glue in the the lens here on the board and yeah I can hear you think why the hell is he gluing a lens to the board don't worry this lens is actually just a piece of a bi bi binoculars so the binoculars they they fell my daughter dropped them and uh, yeah it's all in pieces now so uh, I can use it as a, a lens for my camera no problem so I can glue it here make sure that uh, yeah that when you glue it you do it fluently just let the glue flow and go around it don't have make sure you don't have gaps because even the smallest gap will um, make it easy for the light to enter eh? if you have light leaks that is really terrible for your picture so but if it's light tight then this will work no problem so actually what you do you first um, make sure that the lens won't move so you glue a little just a little bit on the four corners or yeah lens doesn't have a round lens doesn't have corners but I think you know what I mean four sides just glue a little bit and then wait a little bit till the glue hardens because these glue sticks are really great for this kind of thing eh? they won't uh, glue in the lens permanently so you still can get it out without damaging the lens or the board but Just for day-to-day -day use to take some pictures it's great and especially with the black glue sticks because they look shiny but if you um, let it harden eh, and then just rub it then it become very very matte the color comes matte see very dark and not shiny Hope you can see that this one's still a bit shiny. You just rub it, it becomes a lot less shiny. See, uh, now it'll bright lights, but you you know what I mean. It's a bit like chocolate. <laughs> okay, yeah, uh, I think just hardens it just a little bit, and then you can um, start. going around the lens 
never can have enough glue. Voila. Just a little bit of glue. It's enough to keep the lens uh, fixed. And like I said, uh, the glue won't really bond very well with uh, the plastic because it's very, uh, you know, it's, the plastic is very clean and not very slippery. The sur oh, well, better yet, quite slippery the surface. So, oh, it will be okay like this. Now, this lens is not really appropriate for my camera at all, I might add. But I think it's like f3 or something like that. So it's too fast for the camera. Actually, I need a 4.6 or 5.6, sorry, 4.5 or 5.6. But just to take some test shots to see how accurate or how sharp my pictures can be, this, this is enough. And also I don't have a shutter, so I have to be very quick to put the cap on and off. Now let's have a look at the back. See, I paint the back black. Also very, very important to paint it black and not, yeah, be very careful to choose your black. Eh? Better use a, a very, very thick matte black. What I like to use is this kind of marker. It's not uh, your normal day-to-day -day Sharpie eh? or something like this, a marking uh, thing. That, that's, this not, that is really paint. Actually, this is to paint. And this worked great. It's very matte on each and every surface. Eh? It will turn out very matte and not shiny. And also very thin layer. So if you're building a camera or building something else, you need very matte black, then this is perfect. It will cover it okay, quite nicely. Yeah, okay, granted it looks a bit shabby, but uh, as you can see, it uh, does the job quite nicely. Eh? It fits perfectly. Yeah. So, uh, see, well, now I got a lens. I didn't have one, and now I got one. <laughs> it cost me virtually nothing because this can uh, Binocular was been binoculars were yeah, very old already, and the lens board. How much? How many cents? Five cents? Ten cents? Maybe. Work put into it, five minutes, f maybe five minutes more to set the lens. That's it. Ten minutes work, lens board and lens, for uh, practically nothing. The results also will be practically nothing, I understand, but just to, to see if uh, I can get some kind of result is good enough. I'm not planning on using uh, this kind of lenses anyway uh, with this camera, but because I don't have a lens, uh, yeah, this will do for now. Well, that's it for now. Um, if you like my videos, just like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.